To access our online catalogue, first go to kent.gov.uk. Under Leisure and Community, select Library. Then select Borrow Library Item. And then find and reserve a book. To search the catalogue, click on the Search the Catalogue Now button. In the top right of the screen is the area where you can perform your search. You can do a very basic search or a more advanced one. Here's how. For a basic search, type a keyword into the Search by Keyword box. As you start typing, a list of possible options will appear and if you see what you want, you can just click on that option. Otherwise, just click on the magnifying glass, which will begin the search. The default setting here is to search the full catalogue, but clicking on the small arrow in the box will reveal a drop-down list of options that narrows this down further. Here you can select adult fiction, adult non-fiction, audiobooks, biographies, and so on. Clicking on the one highlighted in blue, we'll select it. So in our example now, clicking on the magnifying glass will bring up a list of adult non-fiction books featuring the word Beatles. If we were to select children's non-fiction and then click the magnifying glass, we'd get a smaller list of children's non-fiction books featuring the word Beatles. Just be aware that the keyword search is a broad one and it will bring up any item that has the word you searched for somewhere in its catalogue entry. For a more precise search, we'll click on Advanced Search. Clicking on Advanced Search will bring up more options to help you narrow down your search. Now the top three default ones, title, author and anywhere, are probably the most useful and please be aware you don't have to choose them all. You also have an option to change the search terms by clicking on the small arrow in the corner of each drop down list. These all default to a keyword search, but this can be changed from the drop down list to a phrase or an exact match but keeping it as a keyword should be fine. Again, by clicking on the small arrows at the bottom right of each box, you can select a specific language, a specific library, and a collection. That is adult fiction, children's fiction, DVDs, large print, etc. Scrolling down the screen reveals two further options. You can select the number of records per page and you can arrange the order of the search as listed by title, publication date and author. So to search, simply fill in any information you have in the relevant box and click on search. This will produce a list of all relevant titles in our catalogue. To check the availability of a particular title, click on Advanced Search and type the title in the title box. Click on Search. Click on View Availability which will bring up a list of all libraries currently holding a copy of that book. As you scroll down the list, you can see which library has a copy that is available or is on loan, is not reservable or is currently traveling between libraries. Now suppose we want to get a general idea of the kind of books a particular library holds. For example, what large print books by Charles Dickens does Dover hold? Well first, go to Advanced Search, type in Dickens in the author box. 
In the location box, scroll down by clicking the small arrow until you get to the library of your choice, which in this case is Dover. It will turn blue when you click it. Do the same in the collection box. Scroll down until you get to your choice, which in this case is large print fiction. Again, click on it to turn it blue. Click on search. Well, Dover has two large print books by Charles Dickens. Checking the availability, we see that, unfortunately, Great Expectations is out on loan. But the Christmas books are available. Finally, clicking on the image of the book will bring up a little bit more information that we have on our catalogue. And that's a basic guide to using our online catalogue.